Denton Vacuum Desk 4 spurring system. Uh, this system has a, a mechanical pump and a turbo pump uh, to generate the vacuum levels inside. The system includes a, a, a thermocouple gauge but uh, no high vacuum gauge. The system will be shipped out without a target material which is behind this grid here. So in order to access the target, remove these four screws and install a target which sits in behind this collar. And put back the grid. So I'm going to also demonstrate how to operate the shutter. There are marks here, so I go up to 3 o'clock position in order to open the shutter completely. Then go back to counterclockwise all the way to C, where you see the shutter spreads out, and bring it back to the middle position so that you can close the shutter. Uh, during etching, the shutter should be in closed position, and uh, during sputtering, you want the shutter to be open. So at this moment, the system is vented up. So I'm going to close the chamber and start pumping. So on the vacuum screen, this is the main screen where you can go select vacuum and start the vacuum pump. And after about two minutes, the vacuum level indicator should be below 150 millitor. At that point, you turn on the turbo pump and the chamber will pump down further below that, below 10 millitor. And there are four modes of operation, manual sputter and manual etch, timed sputter and timed etch. If you select timed sputter, you have to select the set point power and duration, how long you want it to be on, a sputter time or edge time if you select. And then you can run time sputter and time edge when the gas valve is manually open. So I'm going to Turn on the turbo pump as soon as the vacuum le level reaches below 200 millitor. So the system has two knobs, one for the shutter and one for the gas. This is a needle valve to regulate the gas flow. So for the process, the system requires argon gas, about 15 to 20 psi pressure. I'm using a bottle here. And it is ideal to have a on-off valve on the gas line as well. So it's almost approaching 200 millitor. I'm going to turn on the turbo pump. And the vacuum will continue to go on. The system will be shipped with the mechanical pump inside and the oil also will stay inside. Uh, this, in order to prevent uh, leakage of oil, it is recommended to keep it vertical while moving it to its final location. The system bell door here is bolted down to the base. So it will be shipped out when, in when condition, but the bell door will remain in its place. So it's less than almost three minutes and turbo pump 
is still accelerating and, and the vacuum level indicator is 2 millitor and once the turbo pump reaches its full speed there will be an indication turbo at speed So right now the turbo at speed indication is on. So usually for day-to-day -day operation we can pump down its turbo for about 20 to 30 minutes before starting the actual process. So I'm going to turn on the gas valve and adjust the pressure level to about say 20 millitor. So right now both the turbo pump and wrapping pump are on. I'm going to the manual sputter and I have uh, selected 70% sputter set point and I'm going to turn on the sputtering. And at this point the target is open, the shutter is open and you can see the plasma is on. And the current indicator is about 51 milliampers. And see the 51 milliampers. So if the current is too low, we can increase the gas flow. Slight increase of gas flow will increase the current rate. So you should follow the manual instructions in order to operate this machine. The system chamber should be cleaned periodically to eliminate any contamination. So I'm going to turn off this and go back to the main and I'm going to do a timed sputter. So I'm going to select time as 30 seconds and you have to enter it. Now right now it is timed sputtering, the gas well is still open. So, once again, the sputtering started, but this time at the end of 30 seconds, it will stop the process. It's a simple and elegant system for preparing scanning electron microscope SIM samples. So that's the end of sputtering. So I'm going to close the, go to the main valve, main screen and uh, go to the vacuum and just for the demonstration purpose I will turn off the gas and uh, turbo pump and turn on the gas again and go to manual etch. So the edge set point, I want to set it 80%. And even though there is a rotation indication here, there is no sample rotation inside the machine. So I'm going to turn on the edge cover. So for the etching, you can see the plasma inside the chamber through the window. Once again, I started a time pitching. So for so we had to give sufficient time for the pressure to stabilize. So for the demonstration purpose, I'm increasing the chamber chamber pressure and adjusting the flow, and it indicates the pressure is not stable, but. By just by adjusting the needle well, we can get a stable pressure level. That's the end of time etching. So 
I'm going back to the gas closing the glass valve and so right now the, the pump is quickly the roughing pump is pumping out the gases the uh, residual gases inside the chamber I'm closing the needle valve and turning on the turbo pump now in order to proceed with the venting of the chamber to replace the sample turn up the turbo and wait for 20 minutes then you turn off the mechanical pump so the, when you turn off the roughing pump the roughing pump will stop and the vent valve will open and the chamber will be vented in order to be able to replace the sample.